What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Lover and welcome back to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a new series on the channel. This series is going to be hard. <laughs> it is going to be a goddamn hard episode, uh, series. But uh, welcome to a new series on the channel called Top 5. Yeah! Yes! <laughs> Basically, in the series, guys, um, I will choose a random topic in the Pokemon world, and I will basically make my personal top five. I'm gonna move the chair because it's over me. My personal top five, depending on the topic. This watch is really tight on me. Ah, fuck. This watch is really tight on me. Ah, nah, nah. You don't want to get off? No, 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 no. Okay, you did. Alright, so yeah, um, top five is basically a list of. Uh, my opinion. Oh, that's a good word. No, but <laughs> basically, guys, to kickstart this series on the channel, um, I'm going to go ahead and start off this top five with my top five favorite Pokemon. Yeah, that's right. You guys are finally going to recognize the mascot of this channel. Um, it's been, it's been, a, it's been a long time coming. It's been a long time coming. But without any further ado, guys, make sure you go ahead and smash the like button down below if you guys are excited to know what my what my mascot of this channel is going to be. But take into consideration, guys. This is my personal list. This is my favorite thing. My favorite list. It's got nothing to do with you know stats or what it looks like. It's just a mixture of things. So guys, if you want, you can leave your top five in the description I mean, blah, 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 in the comment section below, and uh, let me know what your favorite Pokemon is. But without any further ado, let's get this top five a rolling. Woo! Okay, guys. So coming in at number five, we have Electabuzz. Now, yes, I said Electabuzz. The reason, not Electivire, because the only thing Electivire is bad at that Electabuzz is good at is that speed and um, you know it's just Kanto power. The reason this is on the list is it's one of my favorite electric Pokemon. Um, it is an all-arounder. It's really good in uh, both attack and special attack as you can see there on your screen with its stats and just the way it stands is just so powerful. It's like I don't need to evolve. Let's get this battle on the road. <laughs> um, Electabuzz, Electabuzz is, a, is a really good Pokemon. Um, I used I I uh, love using Electabuzz in uh, in my platinum uh, walkthroughs in my platinum LPs. Uh, Electabuzz is a, Electivire is a decent Pokemon. It is is a it's a you know big attacking Pokemon. It's scary and all that. I just don't prefer it just because you know it is slow once it evolves. But um, Electabuzz gets its place at number five. So. Uh, yeah, as you can see with the stat, the special attack is at 95, attack at 83. So it could be, it could be anything. You can, um, you can definitely mix, mix around with um, Electabuzz, but definitely that speed at 105. I don't know what speeds uh, Electabuzz at, but I'm pretty sure it is slower. So number five for my top favorite Pokemon goes to Electabuzz. So coming in at number four, ladies and gentlemen, is the Gen 2 starter Pokemon for Alligator. Now, water types are my favorite types. Hint, hints, it's not it's not my <laughs> all-time favorite Pokemon. No. Um, for Alligator, what do I say about for Alligator? It's a beast. For Alligator, oh, I absolutely love for Alligator. I remember when I um when I started, when I played Crystal for the first time, Totodile was my first starter. And um because as I said, water Pokemon is my favorite, so I always start with the water Pokemon. And there's a lot of rubber shards here, but anyways, um, yeah. So for Alligator is definitely. I've been looking at stats. Like you can you can bulk up its attack and defense. Doesn't for Alligator get shield force? Does it get shield force? That's a really good. That's really good hidden ability. You can instead of that, you can give it you know dragon dance and everything. It is definitely a powerhouse if trained properly. I'm just waiting for a mega evolution. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just waiting for a mega evolution. But uh, for Alligator gets its, it definitely gets its uh, spot on the list just because of you know like uh, you know growing up as a kid and uh, I always used to play that. When it's Heart Gold Soul Silver dropped, that was one of my first Pokemon I chose. I don't know, just the way it looks. It looks like um, one of the old Flintstone characters. <laughs> no. <laughs> but uh, yeah, definitely uh, for Alligator does make the cut. Uh, yeah, so it's number four on uh, my favorite Pokemon list. So guys, coming in at number three, Mamoswine. Oh, Mamoswine. Now, when Diamond and Pearl dropped, um, 
a lot of Pokemon were revealed that were like make were like evolutions from you know the first two gens. Mamoswine being one of them. Now, when I first saw Mamoswine, I wasn't really impressed. Like the, it's, it's it's design is not bad. Don't get me wrong, it's scary. But uh, I don't know, it was just something that I didn't really like. But then, when I started using it in battle, I was just like, holy shit, this, this big mammoth thing can put in work. <laughs> it can put in work. I mean, just have a look at its attack. And it's got decent speed as well. So, max it out and attack at speed, and you got yourself a motherfucking fast. That must be fine. You better watch out. <laughs> but, um... I remember, I, you know, back in Hardcore Soul Silver, I'd always have a Mammoth Swine. I'd always have a Mammoth Swine just to help me out with the Elite Four because Lance was a bitch. Lance was a bitch. But, um, he had three dragons, you believe that? But no, um, <laughs> Mammoth Swine definitely tops up this list. It was definitely there. Um, I think Ground Type is my second, secondary type, and you guys know, you, can, you guys know in a sec. You guys know why. But, um,. Mammoth Swine, it's like I've, I've just grown with it. I've just grown with it ever since um, ever since it dropped. I've always used it in, um, as I said, Hardcore Soul Silver. I've used it in Platinum and I've tried to get my hands on it in like X and Y, Omega Ruby and all that stuff. So, I don't know, it's just it's just a beast. I and mean, we just look at it. Like, it's just like, let's go, let's go. I've got like two motherfucking tusks the size of your fucking body. But no. <laughs> but no, um, Mammoth Swine. Mammoth Swine gets its spot on the top five list. So, uh, Mammoth Swine power. Yeah. Coming in at number two, guys, is um, another Kante power. Being Blasters. Now, uh, I was contemplating whether or not this was going to be number one, but um, I definitely have another Pokemon up at number one. Blastoise was possibly the first ever Pokemon I received. Um, what I mean by that was Squirtle was my very first starter Pokemon. I've just grown a bond with Squirtle, uh, Blastoise, you know, Water Pokemon being my favourite type, and Blastoise was definitely, I was contemplating between Blastoise and Vaporeon, but I don't know, I'm sorry, Vaporeon, if I was to make a top 10, Vaporeon would be number 6, don't you worry, the Vaporeon would definitely be up there, but, um, what else have I got Blastoise? Well, <sighs> As you look at its stats, I'm avoiding stats for everything. As you see its stats, it is a bulky motherfucker. And obviously its special attack is up there as well, but ever since Blasto has got that mega evolution, oh my god. It's been as powerful as a motherfucker. It's been as powerful as a motherfucker. <laughs> um, you know, just, just since red and blue, since red and blue, if I really green, I've I've grown a big bond with Blastoise. Water Pokemon being my favorite, which I mentioned like fucking five, six times in this video. <laughs> but um, definitely Blastoise is one of my favorite starters. Period. Um, well, it is it is second on this list. <laughs> Blastoise is definitely my favorite starter. Um, Venusaur and Charizard, like don't get me wrong, they're really good. They're really good. They they would be on my top twenty favorite Pokemon. Um. Blastoise, the reason I started with Blastoise is because when I when I first received the game, it was uh, Pokemon Blue, and it's ma and it's mascot was Blastoise, so I just said, fuck it, you know, let's go with, let's go with this puny as little turtle, and then it comes out with fucking two cannons, but, um, number two on this list goes to Blastoise, just because, you know, it is, it is my favorite water pack one, and I just got a big fun with it ever since I was a little kid, so, number two on this list goes to Blastoise. Ladies and gentlemen, coming in at number one, my favorite and the mascot Pokemon of this channel goes to none other than my boy Gliscor. Yes, Gliscor is my favorite and is the mascot of this channel. Don't ask me why. <laughs> Do not ask me why Gliscor is it. But honestly, I'm contemplating between Gliscor and Gligar. They're both good Pokemon. The reason I like it, like, have you ever seen a flying scorpion? No. <laughs> that's the way, that's the only reason, that's the only way I could break it down for you guys. But no, definitely, excuse me, Gliscor, Gliscor is definitely my favorite Pokemon. I mean, just have a look at its attack and speed. Oh my god. Um... Ever since, as I said, ever since Diamond and Pearl dropped, a lot of Pokemon were releasing that. And Gligar, when I saw Gligar, I'm just like, what the fuck is this? And then I realized it was Gligar's, um, Gligar's evolution. I'm just like, okay, all right, well, let's try it out. Let's try it out. And holy shit, 
Holy shit. Get one. <laughs> Get one. Definitely Gliger. Oh my god. What can I say about Gliger? What can I say about Gliger? Gliger. I mean, Gliger school. Gliger is a good Pokemon. Don't get me wrong. I've got an Eevee Light Gliger ready to battle. Glide, Glide score, ever since Platinum, you know, every, even every, every Platinum, every Platinum LP I do, Glide score will be on the team, whether or not it's a Nuzlocke or anything, I will attempt to get into the Glide score. Um, just the way it looks, I mean, just have a look at the way it looks, it is absolutely insane, and when Ash, Ash Ketchum got his Glide score in that anime, I'm just like, holy shit! I remember in that episode where he caught the Gliger, I'm like, for sure, he does not have a Gliger for no reason. He's getting the Gliger score. But um, I've just, I've, as I said with Blastos, I just form a bond with it, and it's a ground fight. Yes, it's got a four times weakness to ice, but still, it is power, it is power. And yes, it is the mascot of this channel. So, anything Gliger score, I'm here. I'll let your boy. <laughs> but yes, guys. Is revealed my number one favorite Pokemon is none other than Glyceal. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to be it for the first episode of uh, my top five. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Yes, Glyceal over here is the mascot. Say what's up, go to the people. <laughs> but yeah, Glyceal is the mascot of the channel. It is my favorite Pokemon by far. Nothing will replace it until unless they reveal like a Mega Mega Glass Ball, which I hope they do. <laughs> but um, if you guys did enjoy it, make sure you hit the like button down below for me and let me know in the comment section below what your favorite Pokemon is and why. Of course, I didn't give a I didn't give any explanations to why. It's just you know childhood childhood bond. But um, definitely leave your top five in the uh, comment section in the comment section below and let me know. What top five Pokemon do you, what top five list you would like me to do next? Since this is going to be, what I'm going to basically do is every, let me, uh, I was probably, I was trying to do every week on a Wednesday, Australia time. Every Wednesday I post up a top five, but what I'm going to do guys, every week, I'm going to do a top five video. I'm going to actually organize a video, basically talking about what's going to happen during the week. So I'm going to be posting up a lot of videos a week, maybe two or three, four videos a week, depending on what, how I feel. Um, but with that being said, guys, thank you so much for checking out the video. As I said, make sure you um, comment down below your top five favorite Pokemon and what top five you want me to do next. Also, don't forget to check out my social medias, being uh, my Facebook page, my Twitter, my Instagram. Everything is in the description below. And also, I've got Vine. I've got a Vine, so if you want me to do some Vine videos, hit me up on the Vine. And with that being said, guys, I've got to go get out of here. I've got work, which I do not need to work. I'm working from 9.30 in the morning to possibly 9 o'clock at night with probably an hour and a half break. But um, with that being said, guys, thanks again for checking out the video. Make sure you show your support. Salute the haters. Peace. Oh, guys, go represent. Oh. <laughs>